Everybody that thinks I've been too hard on Google recently, you're going to have an interesting next few days because the next few videos in a row are all going to be fairly complimentary to Google starting today with the Android 14 quarterly beta release, whatever that thing is, that they come out with because they have added a way to change the aspect ratio of apps that currently aren't optimized for larger displays. So of, of the four things that I laid out that I was annoyed about with the Pixel Fold, they have now corrected two of them. Battery life on Android 14 is borderline good. It's, it's really improved. I could get through an entire day and then some. I'm talking six and a half hours of screen on time, and I could probably stretch that a little bit further if I wanted to. And now they've gotten something with to fix the aspect ratio of apps that are currently not supported in a tablet mode. Fantastic. We're going to go show that in a moment. The other two I would like, app pairs, which we're told are coming down the pike, and I'd like to see that price drop. If they can get those last two pieces in place, then this device goes to a buy for me because you're looking at beautiful hardware, a phenomenal camera, certainly the best camera that you could get on any foldable on the market, and good enough stuff. Look, you're never going to fix the crease in the screen. It's a distraction. But if you can get those other things in place, then I don't care as much because you've made this device kind of optimized for the form factor, and I like it a heck of a lot more. So, and I understood all the arguments that people had saying don't, don't give in, don't make it easy for the Android developers, make them have to fix their apps. And listen to me, I've been plenty consistent on this. You could go back and watch the videos. I understand that and I even agree with that, but I don't want the labor pains. I just show me the baby. I paid my 1800 bucks. I want to see a solution here. I'm not here to fight the good fight. You know, I'm not here to take the high road. That doesn't interest me. The money's come out of my pocket. I want to see the result. And you could go here and you can see I've already done it for Instagram. And that is fantastic. I get the full experience now. And they've made it like they have on the Galaxy Fold where you got the left side there. You got the thing. Now, let's say, let's go in and show the Instagram one here. Let's, we'll start with that. And they'll do it for Twitter because I have not done it yet for Twitter. They've innovated a bit here. They've made it interesting. You can, they've done it right. So kudos to Google. First off, kudos for acknowledging that they need to fix something. Bravo for Google taking a step back and say, you know what? Maybe we goofed on that one. Maybe we should make it easier for people and to give them a way to enjoy their apps if they want to. There were plenty of people who said, you know what? I like it the way it was. Okay, fine. You can keep it that way. But if you don't like it that way, if you would like it on a wider screen experience and it's not optimized yet through the Play Store, you can have that choice. It's fantastic. They should try it more often. So let's go into it. Show you how you do it. You're going to hold down. You're going to go into app info. It's going to scroll all the way down. And you're going to see aspect ratio. Currently have it in full screen. You go ahead and hit that. And you get a bunch of options here. App default. So that's the one that if you like it and it's unoptimized glory, you could keep it there. Or you could have it full screen. But a lot of people said, hey, look, that's not going to work on the Pixel Fold. It's too wide. The landscape... The, the apps will stretch and they'll look like trash if they're not optimized from the developer. Okay, Google heard you. This is the part that I'm proud of. Do it half screen if you want or four by three. And you can have yourself, so the, still the pillar box on the side if you need it. If you feel like that app, particular app is stretched too far, then you could go ahead and dial it back a little bit to kind of man, maintain the proper aspect ratio but absolutely phenomenal that they've done it. Now, it's on that quarterly beta release. I don't know if it's going to be available as soon as Android 14 drops. I hope so, but at least there's a working, functioning kind of prototype of the feature ready to go. So even if it's not immediately available on Android 14 release, they'll have it probably as a feature drop within a month or two. So it's good that they're at least working on it. You know, I'll settle for that. It would be nice if we could see app pairs coming down the pike here too. But look, progress. I, that's what I want to see. Show me that you're working on stuff. Show me that you're, you're acknowledging stuff and you're working on stuff in a timely fashion. And you're going to find that at least my coverage is going to be a heck of a lot more favorable than it would have been otherwise. Part of my frustration with Google and the way they do stuff is kind of the head in the sand mentality. Oh, we might have a fix for something. We might acknowledge something two months down the line. And even if we have a fix for something like they did with the Pixel 6 on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi problems, they make you wait two months for the 
regular update. Nonsense. If you got to fix, fix it. So I'm liking what I'm seeing. So let's do it for Twitter. Go ahead. Going to hit that down below here. Aspect ratio. Let's put it in full screen. Get out of this. We're going to open it up. Bam. There you go. See, now you got the whole bottom here. Now, it's bigger. It's not perfect. But you know what? I'm using the whole thing, and I could use the whole screen. That's another thing that I hated on the other ones. There was so much dead zone here that I was trying to reach in to the middle and make sure I could even reach the freaking thing. So I really like what they've done here. This is fine. If you don't like it, like I said, make it 4 by 3 It's better than it was. Give us the option. Now, do I think that should prevent developers from optimizing and making it a better experience like the Instagram one is because they've done this previously for the Galaxy Fold and some other devices? No, they can still do that. And there will still be a competitive advantage for them to do it as more foldables come out. You're going to have the OnePlus foldable coming out. You're going to have more tablets. Tablets are more affordable. You're going to have more devices like the Pixel Fold coming out, like the Galaxy Fold. So there's a lot of incentive, I think, still for developers to come out with a really good tablet experience app and optimized for a tablet experience. So I don't think that's completely gone away. And Google should still do that other stuff that they were planning on doing. Still throw that carrot and stick out there where they're going to say, well, if you optimize your app, you're going to get better preferential uh, treatment in the Play Store and all the rest of it. They can still do that. But in the meantime, for people who paid all that money, including myself, give us something that makes this device more viable. And it doesn't change anything for all those people out there that say, you know what? I use the internal display 10% of the time. I don't care that my apps are pillar boxed. I actually prefer that, which I still can't wrap my head around. But if that's you, that's fine. Keep the app default. But I'm saying, was it that difficult for Google to give us the option? Apparently not. But good on them for giving it to us and having the Pixel Fold move in the right direction. I'm liking it because the hardware experience is phenomenal. The outer display experience is phenomenal. Battery life now on Android 14, really good for a foldable. So we're inching the ball towards the goal line, little bit by bit. We're trying to get there. So eventually, I think this can go on sale because it's still got Tensor 2, which is not bad. It's just not to the $1,800 level. It's got a good camera. It's got a lot of th get things going for it. I just think that if they could get those four pillars that I talked about, price, app pairs, App optimization, aspect ratio fixes, which they have. Battery life, which they've fixed. You get those last two, and then this turns from something that I was really disappointed in to something, you know what, I'm looking at this. Now we might be talking about my favorite foldable. Now we might be talking about a completely different thing. I still love the Galaxy Fold. I still prefer it. I still prefer the multitasking experience. I still prefer a lot of things about it. But, but, Google fixes these few things on the Fold. It's a conversation again. And that, to me, is interesting. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve delicious.